All right, for some time now, the prices of goods in the country have been skyrocketing, and even more so now as we gradually move into the festive season. This is now generating reactions from Nigeria, uh, from Nigerians. And we have um, joining me to discuss this, a public affairs analyst, Dayo Fagbulu. Good to have you join us. It's a pleasure. It's nice being with you. So things uh, sometimes is as bad as three times the, the original price. Something that was 200 could become 600, sometimes even as much as 1,000. And people are being thrown into poverty every single day. As if that is not enough, um, utility prices like um, electricity are also on, on the increase. What do you make of this and is, um, its consequences? Well, well basically, um, <laughs> there's not much of a conversation there. It's... Uh, it's bad uh, economic policy basically and uh, it's it's like you said it's going to plunge people into a, a lot of hardship um christmas is 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 terribly unpleasant the cpi which is the consumer price index is already at 391 points i mean this is pretty high and inflation is already at 18 percent so um I, I don't see anything good coming out of it because we have very little purchasing power. I mean, salaries are not being increased. Uh, remuneration is not being in increased generally. And there's very little purchasing power. So it looks like it's going to be a relatively unpleasant uh, season coming into Christmas or the end of the year, really. That, that's my position. Hmm. And the key thing there you, you just said, or the key statement you made, is the fact that salaries and income is not being increased for a lot of people. Businesses, yeah. those who run their own business, are also taking a hit because of the cost of production. Um, Definitely. Is there, is, there any, is there any sort of, you know, people are looking for palliatives. Is there any sort of way that the government can help or come in in terms of palliative? And I'm not talking about palliative in terms of distribution of food, but just other areas where we can cushion the effect of the, the prices of food. The, the offshoot of the problem itself is government. So the question really is, what, what else can government do? I mean, the, the reason why we have this situation on our hands is, is simply bad uh, macroeconomic policy. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. And I'll try and explain that the best way I can. Um, it, it, this either happens where, where uh, supply, you know, is far less than demand. It's, it's, it's a developing economy, and there will be, I mean, relatively very high demand for things as moving forward. And what the government has not been able to do is to match supply in terms of production with uh, the demand that is existing. So the problem is from the government in itself. Now, if they even had decent uh, policy, I mean, to, to go along with their, this drive, uh, this development drive that they claim that they have, I mean, it will be reflective. But you can see that it's, it's like they're, that they're either putting out too much money, I mean, to chase very few goods. And it's just creating an additional problem. What, what they could do in certain ways is um, give out extraordinary things. What I mean by land, housing, but not cash. The liquidity is, is far too high. Of course, they could mop up liquidity and just increase a bit of suffering, reduce demand, and then reduce inflation. But I, I don't see anything, I mean, worth doing at the moment now. They have... They have really made things bad, and that's that's my position. And this is a whole day, um, a whole day conversation. I wish we have have enough time to talk about this, especially now that our population is even on the rise. Um, this is a whole yes. lot for for Nigerians. Thank you so much for talking to us, Dayo Fagbulu, public affairs analyst. It's a pleasure.